Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another tutorial. And today what we're going to look at is we're going to look at how to take a high poly, so something with a lot of polygons in it, and use a map basically to take all that detail and put it onto something that's actually low poly, something without a lot of polygons in it. And down the left hand side you'll see exactly what I mean, we're going to use a totem, and the totem I've actually prepared and made myself sculpting in ZBrush. Now if you go down to the links below you'll find a resource pack, click on that and you'll be able to download the totem what we're going to be using in this tutorial. You'll also find down there a resource pack for the wood that we're also going to be using. It contains five texture maps so just go and download all that stuff and then you're ready to begin. So with that said let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll delete the cube, delete the camera and we'll delete this light. Then what we'll do is we'll come up to file and we'll come and import our OBJ. Now find the resource pack that you've downloaded and in there is going to be the totem. Now you're free to do whatever you want with the totem, use it as best you want to and then you'll be able to come to the file like I do and just bring in the totem HP. Now when we bring this in it's going to take a while to actually come in because this has I think around a million polygons. But let's double click this and here is our totem and if we click on it it's actually got two million near enough triangles within it. So Blender is actually pretty good at dealing with a massive amount of triangles as long as you don't press the tab button. If I press the tab button it really will slow it down. So we really don't want to do that. All we want it in here for is to actually get off all this really nice detail of all the wood and all the carvings as you look all the way around actually onto our low poly version. So now it's in, let's bring in our low poly and what we're going to do to do that, we're going to bring in a cylinder. So let's press shift A, mesh, come down to where it says cylinder, come over to the left hand side and let's turn up the number of vertices just to give us something to actually play with and make sure we can get all that detail onto this cylinder. So let's turn this up to something like 100 and now what we're going to do is we're going to scale it down with S1 on the number pad shift space just to bring the gizmo in and let's bring it down now to the bottom and shrink it down so i'm going to shrink it down a bit press s z and i'm just trying to get a good start from where i can start from now if i press s and just bring it out a little bit now and then press s z and shrink it down and basically i want this to start so that it's just at the bottom of here so just this piece of wood is actually uh, poking out and then I'm going to shrink it down a little bit more because I want it to start just around here where it's actually going. Now it's important that when we do this we don't worry too much about where this is lying. So as long as we've got some bits poking out and things like that it should be absolutely fine. We're actually going to use a cage for this as well which is going to make it a lot easier to actually do this. So now we've got the start ready what we can do is we can grab our totem and just hide it with H and then we can grab our cylinder again, press the tab button come into face select, select this top face, press tab, alt H to bring back the totem and now we can click on our cylinder again. And now if I press tab, now I've got that top face actually selected, I can pull it out with the S button. So let's just pull it out. And now we've got a good start and we can see some of it's poking through, some of it's not. And because we are using a cage, it really makes this process very easy as long as we're relatively near to the outside of here. So now we've got the top, let's press E, bring it up, S, bring it out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to carry on up and just E, S, bring it out, E, S, bring it out a little bit. And you can see that I'm just trying to follow the line going up here. And I think we'll bring it out a little bit there. E, S. And now we'll just go near to the top. And then we've got a little lip on here, which I'm actually going to follow. So I'm going to bring it there. And then one more, I think, will do it. And then S, and bring it in. Maybe that's a little bit too much. So something like that. And you can see here that the nose is protruding pretty far out. These lips are quite far out and the teeth are definitely far out. But still, let's see if we can actually get away with that and see if we can actually get a good map off of this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is press tab and we're actually going to come over to our totem HP and hide that. And then we're going to rename this cylinder and we're going to call it totem LP 
just so we can distinguish between the two, the high poly and the low poly. Press enter, and now you can see that this has 2,200 triangles. So from 2 million to 2,200 triangles. So what we'll do now is we'll actually um, mark our seams on this and unwrap it. We have to have it unwrapped before we can actually bake it and get the map off it. So let's do that now. So press tab button, select the top face, come down to the bottom, shift select the bottom, control E, and you're gonna come down to mark seams. Now you're gonna press control one on the number pad and that's gonna take you to the back of it. We're then gonna come up to edge select and we're gonna go in and grab the middle of the back. So I'm going to grab one, Alt shift and click and that's going to select them all going all the way up and now I can right click and mark seam. So you should have a seam going around the top, around the bottom and up the back. And now if you press tab, what we're going to do is before we unwrap this we're going to reset the transformation so control A, come down to where it says all transform and that's just going to make sure that we get a good unwrap, everything's been reset now and it should unwrap absolutely fine. So now right click, set origin to geometry and that's just going to set our origin to the center and then we're going to right click and shade smooth and when you shade it smooth it actually makes it so the map goes on much much better than if something has hard edges so just make sure that you shade it smooth now I'm going to press tab press a to grab everything and then I'm going to come over to my UV editing which is this button here and now it's already unwrapped as you can see but that is not how it should have unwrapped so what we'll press is U come to unwrap and there we go, now it's unwrapped properly. Now what I tend to do is I tend to grab these with A and just shrink them down just a tiny bit, just so they're not right at the edge of the UV map. Next thing we wanna do is we want to actually create a new UV map to create our map and put it on. So let's go to new, let's call this totem normal map, and then let's change the size to 2048 and 2048 and the reason I'm changing it to that size is that that matches the size of the maps of our wood which we're also going to bring in so I can show you then how to use the map and the texture at the same time so let's come to color and change the color just to something a little bit lighter so we can see what we're doing and let's take alpha off we really don't need that press ok and you'll end up with a new map that looks something like that Okay, so let's give this a material now. So come over to the materials tab, which is this button here. Come up to where it says plus and click new. And we're gonna call this totem wood. And then what you need to do is you need to come over to the shading panel, which is this button here. And you've agreed with this. Now to bring in our textures, first of all, you need to come up to edit, go down to preferences, go to add-ons, Go to search and put in node and you'll end up with something called node wrangler just make sure that is ticked click refresh and close that down now come over here and hover anywhere over here and what you're going to press is shift a and that will give, do a search for you click on search and then put in image and you'll see something that comes up saying image texture click on that and now what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in a little bit click this down arrow and you're gonna find your totem normal map. Come down to where it says color space and just put that on non-color. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to modeling. We're gonna press tab and we're gonna press shift D to duplicate this. So when you've shift D it, just move with your mouse to make sure you've got a duplication. Right click and that will drop it right back in place. And you'll see now you've got one called totem LP.001. Just rename that and call it simply cage. So now you should have three, a low poly, a high poly, and a cage. So hide the low poly for now, bring in the high poly, and now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the cage is selected, press tab, make sure it's all grabbed with A. So if you've not great grabbed, just press A to grab it all. Alt S, and now you're just gonna pull it out very slowly. And if you're struggling with how fast it pulls out, just hold the shift button, it'll pull out slowly. And what you're trying to do now is just bring it past so that there's nothing sticking out of there. So just go around it, just make sure nothing's sticking out. And once you've done that now, we're ready to rock and roll and get this uh, normal map done. Come to your little TV, turn the render engine from EV to Cycles, and then come down to where it says Bake. Change the bake type to Normal. Come down to where it says Selected to Active, tick that on, 
open it up and then click cage and then the last thing you need to do grab this pipette and just click on cage now let's click on the low poly totem and then shift click the totem high poly and then come down to where it says bake and now you'll see it actually starts it doesn't take too long and when this is finished then you should have a bake of your totem now let's go to the UV editing and there you go there is our bait totem map and now what we need to do is we need to go to shading let's uh, delete our cage so we can come to this cage right click click delete click on totem low poly and now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this map and um, before we bring another map in what we need to do is we just need to save it out so back to UV editing Click on where it says image and you'll notice there's a star actually on there and then come down to save as and just save it in the same place as the resource pack that you actually downloaded. So I'm going to save mine as totem normal map, save as image and there we go. Now let's go back to modeling before we actually bring that in and what we can do now is we can hide the high poly so let's hide that, press the tab button and let's bring in a couple of lights. Let's put this back on Eevee. Put this on EV, so Shift A, Light, Sun, Shift Space if your gizmo's not there, move your sun up, bring it out, and let's get some light on this. So RX45, RZ-45, and let's just move it over just a little bit. And now we'll duplicate this, so Shift D, bring it over to the other side, RZ180, and just turn it round. So now we've got two lights, so we've pretty much got the whole of this cylinder actually covered with light. So now back to the shading panel, click on your cylinder, click on your principled, control shift T, and now what you want to do is you want to bring in that normal map that you just saved out. So double click the normal map and you're gonna end up with something like this. Let's put it on Eevee and you can see now that all that detail that we had on our high poly totem is now on this low poly. And you can see we've got 2,200 triangles. So now we need to bring the wood in as well as our actual detailed normal map. So how do we do that? Well, let's zoom out first. And what we'll do is we'll grab this one. So this is the image and then the normal. So shift click the normal, press the G button and just bring these down and just pop those out of the way for now. And then grab both of these with B, drag, grab them both, delete, delete this box and then let's unplug this and just leave it there for now. Now back to the principled, control shift T, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring in the wood. Double click the wood and just shift click all five of these maps, click principled, and that's gonna bring all these maps in. So now we've got the wood on, but we've got no normal map giving us all that detail. So let's just move these out of the way a little bit, move the displacement, and then let's move all three of these just down a little bit so I've shift grabbed all of them G move them down and now I'm going to bring these into place so grab them both with shift G move them into place so now I've got two normal maps here one is the wood and one is the detail now let's press shift a search and you're gonna put mix and you're gonna have one called mix RGB bring that in drop it in place now let's grab this uh, normal node and just put it in the bottom. Grab this normal node and put it in the top. And now you should end up with something like this. So you can see already the details there and the wood is there. Now what we need to do is we just need to turn the strength of this up and we can turn this down and then we get even more of that detail coming through. So now you can see we've got the wood detail there which looks very realistic and now we've got the detail of the high poly totem. So now let's go back to modeling, tab, dot button to zoom in, and there we go. Now the last thing you wanna do is actually come over and turn on ambient occlusion. And what they'll do is they'll add a load of shadow in all these crevices and things and make it look even more realistic. So click ambient occlusion on and you can see the difference right there. Also, click on screen space reflections open this up and just click refraction on and that then will just enable you to add more realism to your wood should you need it well that's it for this one everyone if you liked it give me a like if you haven't subscribed yet then please do 
And if you want to find out more about the channel and support it, then check out the links down below. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.